All right, let's start with the big story that we're tracking at this hour because in what comes as a big victory for India at the United Nations, India's nominee Dalvir Bhandari has been re-elected to the International Court of Justice after Britain decided to pull out its candidate. Go along again, please, with the list. He said three from Africa, and I believe two from Asia. What is the other distribution? Now, the British candidate, Christopher Greenwood, was pulled out by Britain after a hard-fought race, which saw 11 rounds of voting, which could not break the stalemate. And eventually, Britain <coughs> to pull out its nominee. Now, the voting for the last seat was held in the World Court earlier, and this will, of course, be the first time since the RCJ was established in 1945 that there will be no British judge. Now, Bhandari received 183 out of the 193 votes in the General Assembly and secured all the 15 votes in the Security Council. So this, of course, comes as a big diplomatic victory for India, which has managed to get its candidate and its nominee re-elected to the International Court of Justice after separate and simultaneous elections were held at the UN headquarters in New York. Now, the elections were held after United Kingdom, in a dramatic turn of events, withdrew from the race for the Hague-based ICJ, thus paving the way for Bhandari's re-election to the prestigious World Court. Now, Bhandari and Britain's Christopher Greenwood were locked in a neck-and-neck -neck fight for the re-election to the ICJ. Dalvir Bhandari of India has obtained an absolute majority in the General Assembly. I have communicated the result of the vote to the President of the Security Council. I have received from the President of the Security Council the following letter, which reads as follows. Sir... I have the honor to inform you that at the 8,110th meeting of the Security Council held on 20th November 2017 for the purpose of electing one member of the International Court of Justice for a term of office beginning on 6th February 2018, Mr. Dalvir Bandari of India obtained an absolute majority of votes. So that was the announcement and it has come as a big diplomatic victory of sorts where India has managed to get its nominee elected to the International Court of Justice. And to discuss more on this and what it actually implies for India, we are joined in by our senior editor, Surya Gangadharan. Good morning, Surya. This, of course, is a big diplomatic victory for India. It is a victory because it now means that we have a representative on the ICJ, mm -hmm. uh, especially when... Um, the uh, Kulbushan Jadav case comes up for hearing, which will, it will in December. Mm -hmm. So that's a shot in the arm for us. Also, it's, uh, there's a matter of prestige also involved here. The ICJ is an important institution for India. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that uh, we've got a majority in the General Assembly uh, does suggest that India has a certain diplomatic standing internationally. Absolutely indeed. And considering the fact that Britain managed to pull out in the last instant, uh, there were talks that India may pull out its candidate, but that was, of course, refuted by Sayyid Akbaruddin, who said that the momentum was with India because we were not able to make any sort of a headway in the Security Council. The British candidate, Christopher Greenwood, he was getting 9 out of 15 votes consistently in the first 11 rounds of voting. So what do you think has worked in favour of India? I think basically in the General Assembly, India's standing has always been high. Mm -hmm. And uh, given the fact that uh, we have a certain stature as a developing nation, uh, we are, um, we've been fairly uh, forthcoming on uh, major international issues, including issues like climate change and helping uh, developing countries. I think all those uh, issues um, came in favor of India when the final voting actually happened. Absolutely indeed, Surya. Thank you very much indeed for joining us again, getting us all those inputs. So this, of course, is a big victory of sorts for India, which has managed to get its candidate, Justice Dalvir Bhandari, elected, re-elected rather, to the International Court of Justice.